How you folks doing? James Clem here. I get this question a lot on my YouTube channel, my teaching channel, and my social media. And that is about milling Emacs in a very refined way. There is an extra fine mill if your unit supports that. Now the prime mill will support the extra fine mill. You have your two main burrs is if you were doing fine mill that does the initial mill. And then it completes the mill with really smaller tip burrs. And that's how you get a really good mill. Now this unit behind me here, right there, that's the PM7 by Aviclair. And the completion of that restoration is very well done as you can see with the occlusal anatomy here. However, that takes longer, though it doesn't take that much longer with the latest CAM software. But back to the CEREC system. So if you have an MCXL, you want to have four burrs. When you have four burrs, it's the same as the prime mill, except it's a lot slower, but it will mill extremely well. If you want to do thin veneers, I get this question all the time. If you want to do thin veneers with CEREC, you can do that. And here's how you do it. Extra fine mill. So you need an M6L that has four engines, right? So your initial burr mill is with the main burrs that you would use to mill out with fine mill. On the left with the M6L, one advantage you have is the 12 burr. The 12S is what most people use. I find that to be the case in most of my classes that I teach. That's a larger burr. That's like 1.35 on the tip. Whereas the 12 burr, that's the 12S. But the 12 is about 0.85 on that tip, which means it takes more passes. It's a little slower, but not much. But the refined mill that you get, even with just fine mill is excellent, but extra fine mill is that much better. So you do have some advantages with the MCXL over the prime mill because the left burr on the prime mill is 1.4. Even though it does mill very well, and most of my veneers are milled out with the prime mill just because it's a lot faster. I can mill out a veneer with prime mill extra fine. I can do that in about probably 11 to 13 minutes. Whereas if I switch that over to the MCXL extra fine mill with the four engines, and that burst set, that's going to take probably around 18 to 21 or 23 minutes. But the mills are exquisite. So if you're doing the same day veneers, I would prefer to have the prime mill. <laughs> if you do only have the MCXL and you do want to get those thin veneers, then here's my thickness when I'm doing extra fine mill, either prime mill or MCXL if you have the right burr sets. And you will see that on your screen options if you have the right burr sets and right burrs installed. So my minimal thickness that I set in my minimal thickness parameter for a veneer is 300 microns. And then on the margin, which is a margin parameter, I'll leave that at 50, 50 microns. So with those two metrics, I do not see chipping. I don't see chipping on the margins and I just don't it's just a good mill now the other thing you have to be aware of is that with the M6L and the prime mill you will get some slight over mills internally is the way that mills whereas with the five axes here the PM7 I don't see any over mill but in most cases, that's not a game changer unless you're really going thin. So I get this question, can I do non-prepped veneers with my MCXL or the prime mill? And the answer is yes. Here's a case that I did with the MCXL. Now this was done with extra fine mill. And this is before I had the prime mill. Now that case has now been out for a number of years and it's still working well and it looks great. So you can do non prep veneers if the conditions will present itself, which is more than this video, but that is the surface of the tooth can have undercuts and you're able to wrap the ceramic in approximately without undercuts, without prepping. That's very rare. In most cases, I will need to do a little bit of a diamond prep to get that 
finished margin and make sure I don't have undercuts. But having said that, if the conditions are right, yes, you can do minimally prepped veneers or no prep veneers as in the case I showed you. So I hope this clarifies a few things. I'm going to post this to my CAD CAM doctor's website and have that in the blog so everybody will be able to see this. So thanks for listening and I hope you folks have a great day. I hope this clears up a few questions. If you have any questions though, beyond this video in machining, milling, make sure you post them under the blog. So uh, you take care. Have a great day. Bye.